Hello my dear students in this video we are going to discuss about matter this is part third video you can watch previous two videos the link given in the description box so let's start in this video we are going to discuss about the law of conservation of mass Antony Leweiser proposed uh, the law of conservation of mass during the physical change shape size kinetic energy and many other properties of the substance may change but the total mass remain the same you can see here in the first glass of water the water is if you see the 80 gram of water and the ice cube having a 20 gram of ice after the physical change means this solid converted into the liquid so all is this nothing but the liquid state now if we measure the mass of this substance you can see the 100 gram of water so after the physical change there is no change in the mass this is a law of conservation of mass during the physical change the shape size kinetic energy and many other properties of the substance may change but the mass of that substance remains the same you can see another example in this glass of water total 100 gram ice cubes are present but after melting the physical state changes to the liquid state and you will see the 100 gram liquid water will be present so there is no effect on the mass during the chemical change that is a chemical reaction new substances are formed but total mass of the reacting substances that is a reactant and the produced substances that is the products remain the same if you see the example here this is the hydrogen gas when reacting with the oxygen gas the formation of water molecules if you see here the hydrogen gas and oxygen gas here the, these two are the reactants in this reactant the two hydrogen molecules means four hydrogens and one oxygen molecules means two oxygens are there so total product you can see here here four hydrogens were and here now you can see in the two water molecules four hydrogens are present and oxygen two oxygens here also two oxygens are there so during the chemical changes also the reactant and products are the same this is the law of conservation of mass see another example in the case of methane when the reacting with the oxygen methane CH4 and oxygen O2 two molecules of oxygen when the combines together the form of for there is a formation of carbon dioxide as well as water molecules you can see here here the carbon one molecule of carbon here one molecule one atom of carbon is present here one atom of carbon is present here four hydrogens are present here you can see four hydrogens are present here you can see total four oxygen are present here in the carbon dioxide two oxygens and in the water molecule two oxygens are present so if you see in the mass ch4 having a 16 gram oxygen gas 32 gram but the two molecules are there so that's why 2 into 32 grams here in the product co2 carbon dioxide 44 gram here two molecules of water that is one water molecule having a 18 gram so two water molecule means 2 into 18 grams so the total reactant is 80 grams and the total products is nothing but the 80 grams this is the law of conservation of mass you can see the mass of product reactant is equal to the mass of product mass is neither created nor destroyed in ordinary chemical and physical changes must start and end with the same amount for example you can see here the locks 30 kilograms plus fire 1 kilograms it will gives ash having a 28 kilogram plus exhausted smoke that is a smog you can find it 3 kilograms so the reactant is 30 kilo 31 kilogram and the product also 31 kilogram so this is a law of conservation of mass see another example if you measure the mass of glass of milk and the mass of some chocolate powder then you mix them together to make a chocolate milk the mass of chocolate milk is equal to the mass of milk plus mass of chocolate powder added together see another example sulfur 32 gram plus iron 56 gram these are the two reactants after the reaction what happened the product is 88 gram of product you will find see another example 2 sodium atom plus 2 water molecule 
it will give to NaOH sodium hydroxide plus H2 gas. You will find the reactant as well as product are the same. Let's count the atom sodium in the reactant two atoms were there and product definitely two atoms are there. If you see the atom of hydrogen, hydrogen four atoms in the reactant, in the product also four atoms and the same in the oxygen, in the case of oxygen, in the reactant oxygens two atoms and in the product oxygen having a two atoms. Remember one thing, to prove the law of conservation of mass, it is necessary to carry out the experiment in the closed container otherwise if your product is a gas, it may escape and the desired result will not be obtained. For example, the combustion of wood. If you see when the wood is burned in air, ash is formed. So you will find out mass of ash that is a product is less than mass of wood that is reactant. Why? This is because here mass of air used and gaseous product formed after the reaction are not considered. They are exhausted. So the total mass of matter before burning is nothing but the mass of wood plus mass of oxygen taken from air for burning purpose. So is always equal to the total mass of matter burning after burning. So the after burning the product mass is mass of ash plus mass of gaseous product like carbon dioxide, water molecules, nitrogen gas, carbon monoxide etc. This is all about law of conservation of mass. Thank you for watching my dear students.